Good afternoon, welcome. It's Anna here. I am here today with a flip through of this journal that I have grown to call Cora. It is made from a repurposed book uh, that was published somewhere between 1890 and 1900. Uh, and it has no publication date in it, but I did some research uh, regarding the publishers and it could be published somewhere in between those two dates. So at the latest 1900. Uh, and uh, yeah, <laughs> let's measure it to start. It is five and a quarter by seven and a half inches. And the spine is half an inch, a little bit more than half an inch. Uh, as you can see, I have kept the old cover. I have made a bit of decoration on the front page with a little collage here with some Tim Holtz um, backdrops, a bit of an old book page from the original book and a Tim Holtz uh, photo. And there is a little label there. On the spine, it is almost kept original, a small label down there, it's all I added. And on the back, I added two labels up here. It is a permanent closure made out of sari silk. And this has some kind of pattern on it. And I think it's absolutely beautiful. Grungy and old and absolutely lovely. And I haven't ironed it because I want it to be this grungy feel to the book. Take that to the side. So let's start the flip through. My idea when I did this book is that this is Cora. Uh, she is leaving England to travel to her fiance. He is some kind of scientist, researcher, and he has gone to uh, somewhere in the Pacific Ocean some kind of island and she is joining him there to get married and to settle down because he started a researching station there and um, this lady is bringing some of her memories with her and is adding in a few more the original front page of the book is here and as you can see, it was called The Coral Island, A Tale of the Pacific Ocean by R.M. Ballantyne. And that's why I got the name Cora right there. And Pacific Ocean and the whole story just developed in my head while I was working on her. The end papers are out of a book about um, roses uh, painted by... Uh, Redotte or Redout, uh, I don't know exactly how to pronounce his name, but the end papers are it's kind of one image that is cut in half. Lovely English roses. And here on the first page, I put a little exotic bird and a small label. And the pages, the original pages of the book, were quite cracking and they were not the best quality, so I dubbed them up. There's still one set in each signature. The book has five signatures, by the way, and it is sewn in with a hidden hollow back spine. Uh, with a, a five-hole pamphlet stitch, and it is a hidden hollow back spine. Back here, and it has a total of 100 pages. So, uh, this first page was doubled up with uh, this one. This is an old advertisement for uh, 4711 Eau de Cologne. Very nice old advertisement from a magazine and I love it was the exact same size so I love that. I have some tea dyed paper in each signature as well and on this one uh, it flips out and I put some tickets here because you need tickets if you're going to travel. And these of course are a lot newer than than uh, Cora and all this, but I like the style of it. Here is a book page from a book from 1900 
and it is in German and lovely font and lovely coloring on that page. And here is a small cottage that is also a tax pot, tiny corner tuck, and inside there is a small uh, journaling card. And this dress here uh, is fussy cut out of a book about fashion. And it reminds me a bit of the one that she's wearing on the photo. So maybe this was her, her um, how should I say, idea when she wanted the seamstress to get her dress made. She saw it in a magazine and she thought that would be a perfect traveling dress. And even the hat is quite similar. Uh, this is uh, an old writing card that was in a vintage envelope that I found thrifting. I found a bunch of them and inside was these uh, writing cards and you can almost see the envelope has been leaving some marks there. Uh, here I have uh, some plain writing paper and this uh, is an image seems to be a ball or something. Lots of people eating, drinking, laughing, having fun. And either this could be a going away party for Cora or maybe it is one of the balls she and her fiance attended before he left England to go to the Pacific Ocean. And once again the back is backed with writing paper. Here is a little pocket that I made out of a tea dyed index card, a 1900 calendar. I usually do one of those calendar, uh, sorry, <clears throat> my throat is a bit dry, and I pockets with calendars on them. And since the book could be published as late as to 1900, I decided to use a 1900 calendar. And a small British flower style teacup. And inside is a dashing gentleman. And this I made into kind of four cabinet card style. Uh, it was uh, out of a book about Swedish royalties. But I believe this is her fiance. More tea dyed paper here. And here, uh, this is actually also from the original book. And I backed the page with an open envelope. So you have extra journaling space and this to look at. And this is a, also kind of an idea about something she could wear where she was traveling to hide herself from winds and rain. And she's also actually holding a few, either I think it's glasses, sunglasses or binoculars or something. Quite cute. Is from the same book about fashion. This is also a page from the original book and here I just backed it with some writing paper and this is a flip with lovely dogs on it. A lovely collie and I believe that could be a Jack Russell Terrier. Very cute. And more tea dyed paper. This is an old from an old book from 1835 about I believe some medicine and maybe she bought, bought one of her Beatrix Potter books with her this is a pocket I made out of doubling uh, some, some uh, Beatrix Potter paper and inside it is this little journaling card with a house maybe her house or someone else's house and that goes in there like so and some uh, ledger there in the center and more on the Beatrix Potter and the old book page and here is a flip on that tea dye paper and in my mind this is uh, Cora's Tudor, or she was probably homeschooled, every girl was back then, and this could be her tutor. And it's actually Henrik Ibsen, a famous, famous um, Norwegian writer, I think. I loved his sideburns, I thought they were cool. 
here's some uh, grid paper once again paper from the original text block that i have backed with this grid paper for extra journal space and security and this one also from the original text block and that is backed with uh, first a another end paper and then this image and in my mind this is Cora's father who's who's very dear to her her mother is maybe not around i believe she died when Cora was young but her father is very dear to her and on this page i have added an old envelope that was sent in 1938 i believe and this one is opened up so you can journal inside it and maybe just maybe it was her father writing to her or she writing home to him and um, of course when you travel you have to have maps right this is some kind of map of the world and on this side there's a pocket and a flip this i made in one of my use it or lose it videos sorry <coughs> things are falling down here <laughs> and this flips out and here is a small pocket and inside it is a exotic flower an exotic flower This is an old book from, hmm, didn't I have a date on that one? No, I didn't because that book was so bright. This is from an old school book and that school book was falling apart, apart and it was just a couple of pages left. So I put one of them in here. It's about the history and this is about Rome. Uh, some grid paper in here and on this page I put on a small exotic bird as well The rest of the map and the rest of the tea dye paper Here's another page from the original text block and this one flips out. It's another dress idea for Cora a lovely evening dress and here I doubled it with another, the only illustration from the original text block. And this is, uh, it says a loud roar thundered over the sea and someone fired a gun, a cannon from the boat. I haven't read the original book, but it was a youth uh, novella, novel um, for youths, adventure novel kind of like Robinson Crusoe or something like that um, and here's another page from the original text block that is backed with uh, another page so I glued two of them together for accessibility this idea of making punching out holes in a uh, folio from a book and gluing in some um, of those vellum squares you have all, almost all of us have them from happy mails or buying online or something um, this idea came from Took's craft table then I glued on some labels for some interest and writing space and here's a piece of um, collage paper Tim Holtz more tea dyed paper and this is a book from 1806 lovely like paper in the center there is some ledger again and on this side there is an uptuck the desire to escape maybe that was what she was doing and inside this is a genuine vintage check or maybe uh, yeah probably check or bohemian card I cannot read it, but it has beautiful handwriting and cool stamps. So I thought that could go in there. More tea dyed paper, and this is the back of the uh, little uh, windows with different images in. I thought that idea was quite cool actually. This pocket I made in one of my use it or lose it. Uh, I have stamped and I have put a few labels on 
and it is actually a double pocket um, <clears throat> this is uh, a tag I made out of Tim Holtz papers and this tag I made in one of my use it or lose it videos I think I have sewn around it and put a little fabric up here to make it look like a tag so and this is another page from the original text block and that is backed up with uh, another page from the original text block this one we made together on video a little washi tape label and a pair of lilies here I have backed the original pages with some writing paper and tea dye paper as you can see there is tons and tons of space to write and keep your memories and photos or whatever you want, want to do this is from an old loose leaf um, notebook that I'm thrifting here is a page of some tiger flowers very cool backed it with some more lined paper for you to journal on this is from an old 1834 songbook in, from in uh, danish actually from denmark and here is a little pocket that i made this is the same paper as uh, it's here on the first page on the front so i'm trying to use it up and here's a small or a big journaling card and another small one with a parrot on so it's a mixture of british and exotic things here there's another lily writing paper here this flip is extended with some picture of an old this is from um, uh, another book about swedish uh, royalty and if you flip it over it opens up and you can journal behind it as well little hidden journaling space there and more writing paper and this is the end of the book so that's Cora, all her 100 pages, and um, she will be available in my Etsy shop later today. And uh, if you're interested, pop on over and take a look. I hope you enjoyed this flip through, short and sweet. If you have any questions or comments, please uh, write them down below. And if you haven't subscribed already, you can do that if you like. I post videos like this, flip throughs, craft with me, thrift tools, etc. A couple of times a week. Always junk journal related. That is all for today. Have a great day. Bye.